Hello everyone, welcome to today's tutorial. My name is Adam Reed of LTAX Media. Today we're going over some of the top hosting uh, providers online that I use and that my clients prefer to use. Um, so the first one we're going to get started, mainly today we're going to go over paid ones. There are some free ones out there, we'll uh, get to those in, a, in another video. That being said, some of these do offer a free trial and some do offer free accounts, but uh, we are going to go over and focus on mainly the um, paid features of these. First one being Spreaker. Let's go down here and bring up your uh, plans so you can see uh, kind of what they offer. As you can see here, they have four different plans to choose from. Uh, you can just go for a basic plan or on air talent plan. Then you can upgrade to Broadcaster Pro plan, um, Anchor Man plan, whatever that means, <laughs> um, and Station Pro. But as you can see some of these are fairly expensive $20 a month, $50 a month, $119, $120 a month. That's pretty expensive. That being said, uh, these two are not too bad per month, these two here. But uh, you know what, um, there, I, I per personally feel there's better programs out there that will benefit you. That being said, this program here offers you a control panel, a virtual mixer. When you go to live and do your show, you can import jingles and stuff like that. Um, you do have a limited time. I mean, some of the disadvantages I feel, um, it doesn't really allow you to embed it in your site unless you, uh, unless you kind of develop the plugins yourself. And that's another thing I don't really like. You have to. Uh, another thing I don't really like. You can't just really go on air. You have to more uh, prepare your show, and you have to give every show a name. I'm not necessarily like that. I would recommend this more for podcasters uh, rather than you know 24/7 radio hosts, just because of the kind of uh, technology it is. So if you want to sign up for this, you can go sign up here on Spreaker and uh, enter your information in there. Second one we're going to get to today is uh, this one here is Blog Talk Radio. They're a pretty good service. Uh, this is more for, again, podcasting, I would say, rather than 24-7 radio. But uh, Blog Talk Radio feeds well. And uh, the law free but, uh, paid features, I would end getting a paid account. They do want to add um, once in a while into your stream if you don't pay. So basically, um, what you want to do is uh, you can go down here, become a host, and this will kind of go over how it works and all their plans. Again, they have a free account, but the limitations, you can only have five simultaneous listeners. And uh, or guests listening to your show, which kind of sucks, especially in my kind of case and my client's kind of case. You can live chat with your listeners. You do have promotional tools, but that's the uh, free account. I'm not going to, again, I keep going back to free accounts, but we're focusing mainly today on these babies, the, the paid. So, as you can see, Blog Talk Radio compared to Spreaker is quite expensive. You, uh, again, get a free trial the first month with this. So, premium is $39 a month. The benefits are two hour shows per day, 50 live concurrent callers, 1,000 promotional impressions per month, um, prime time scheduling, upload and edit replaced episodes. So you get a fair little bit, but in my opinion, 50 callers is, well, 50 callers is good, but uh, I don't like the fact that they limit how long your shows can be. That's another thing that Spreaker does as well, but if you pay, um, you might get a little bit of a better benefit. Of course, the more you pay, the more you're going to get. So let's uh, if you were to upgrade here to Plus, you still get a free month trial. $99 per month, though. Includes premium benefits and three-hour shows per day. Still limiting your shows. I don't like that. 100 live concurrent callers. 2,500 promotional impressions per month. Toll-free host number, which is really cool. That's a cool feature about Blog Talk Radio. And no audio video ads. So that's another thing that a lot of uh, these companies take advantage of you by, uh, inserting ads into your streams or on your stream pages. They get lots of money from that. If your uh, listeners are going to come in and listen, if they have to listen to that or see that before your stream starts, they're getting money from each one of those, which is one thing I don't uh, like. So if you were to upgrade here to Pro, of course, um, you get the most features, as it says there. It's $249 a month, ouch, uh, and includes benefits of all these, plus you get more. You still only get three hour shows per day. You get 250 live concurrent callers, 5,000 promotional impressions per month. You don't get any ads or feature, or you can feature your own ads, I should say. No banner ads, they don't place ads on the stream or on the page, but you can have your own ads if you want to. Um, Promotion and Prime homepage placements, so that means you can embed basically um, in your own web page, and you get live streaming on any website. That's kind of the same thing, but this just mainly means uh, more of a direct link, and this means more of a player. 
So there you have it, Blog Talk Radio. You can sign up um, you just by clicking. You can go to um, the page I was just on for the home page, become a broadcaster from the home page, and put all your information in here. Of course, like most of them, they do require a credit card uh, for the first trial even, which kind of sucks, but uh, that's basically how it works. The third one here, and by far the one that I would definitely, uh, I would definitely get if it wasn't so expensive. They're by far the most expensive, but there are some advantages to this. They do cover licensing, which is a really biggie, obviously, when you're doing radio, um, and that's basically, um, you know, that's obviously important when you're doing radio. So basically, you have two options here: personal broadcasting or professional broadcasting. Most of us are doing professional, so I'm just going to click here, bring up the benefits here. Um, so what you would want to do is uh, this just kind of lays out everything you need to know, and uh, you go to pricing here. I'm going to bring up the pricing. Now, as you can see, these are um, these are these are fairly decent. They did go down a little bit, so they're not too bad. Um, down here, you go down, and it kind of breaks it down a little more. So we'll kind of go over the three packages here. So Pro Talk, you get three two, two gigabyte storage. So again, this offers cloud DJ services. You can upload all your music and then have it 24/7. So this would be more of an ideal situation for 24/7 shows. In my case, in my client's case, mostly. Um, so this is called the Pro t the Pro Talk plan. This is the basic plan, as I would call it, the the base kind of plan, the cheapest. It's got great quality, 128k, which is good. You can have unlimited listeners. You can talk live to callers via Skype, distribution included with iTunes Internet, and that's at a cost of 99 per month. And uh, they do charge a one-time $99 setup fee, which is kind of crazy. Um, and you have to be on a 12-month term, so you have to be so-called locked in. There's no monthly fees. And there's no monthly payments, I'm saying. If you want to upgrade, there's Pro Intro 2. You should get still get 2 gigabytes of storage for free. Great quality, 128K again, 500 monthly listener hours. Um, royalty licensing. Again, this licensing is really important when you're playing licensing music. That's not included with this one, so you would have to, if you want to do licensing, I would recommend getting this one. So again, you get royalty licensing included, distribution including iTunes Internet, so that means that you'll be able to display Internet packages, and you'll be able to display Internet, um, be able to display covers and uh, graphics for the current song playing if it's a royalty song. That's at a cost of 166 per month. Again, one-time fee of $99 to set it up and 12-month fee or 12-month term, sorry, so you have to be locked in once again. If you want to upgrade to the biggie, uh, which is the third plan here, you still... Um, oh, geez. All right, let's just reload. <laughs> Okay, I never wanted to highlight so much. Anyway, so let's go back here again. So we went over these. This is Pro Intro 1. Um, so, um, again, you're getting good quality, um, but, but it's only at 64K. Um, so you get 500 listener hours, royalty licensing. Um, and, again, 500 monthly listener hours. That's how many listener hours you can have in total. Um, this is called the Pro Intro 1. You still get 2 gigabytes of storage and a one-time setup fee. Again, of $100, $99 setup fee, and you have to be locked in for 12 months. So let's scroll down here and uh, include... Um, let's take a look at some of these things here. Um, these are basically the listeners. This kind of breaks it down for each package. So if you don't have a royalty-included pack, you have to pay this for... Uh, this is how much you have to pay um, per per. Basically, this is kind of an add-on more than it is included. So, if you had a pack like this one where it wasn't included, this is what you would have to pay. Now, I don't know why you would want to pay this if you could get away way less with this or this. Beats me. Anyway, so if you want to sign up, uh, uh, Live Three Six Five does offer a free trial. Some of the benefits include, from my knowledge, um, and seeing around and looking into their stuff, and there was a few clients of mine that have used this. Um, they provide an embeddable player, really nice features. Again, they offer cloud DJ service. You can upload all your music and stuff like that. Um, a disadvantage, I would say, is that they try to place a lot of ads and videos ads uh, on your pages. If you get this plan, or the higher plans rather, you won't have that so much, but um, yeah, that's basically how it works. Here's a look at their players, pretty nice players you can see, and they're fully mobile um, as well, as some of the other companies aren't. Let's get to our third one here, it's Radio Jar. This is one of my favorites, uh, very easy to use, although I'm still kind of in a learning curve at the point. Um, so this is, I would say, your best bang for your buck, if you will. So if you just go on pricing here, we're going to break it down for you. As you can see, lots of options here. Um, 
if I just click on basic here so you can get plans from twenty dollars a month which is really cheap some of the disadvantages of this if you're in Canada anyway you don't have coverage for licensing if you're in the US they do do license coveraging I, I believe that's something I was trying to check into but I haven't heard too much uh, anyway so you can kinda of upgrade to the biggie packs if you want to and uh, you gotta contact them for this but that gives you all the features so basically comparing packs here um, you can basically slide the knobs to your um, basically slide the knobs to your specifications um, you know if you want to have well this is basically kinda from previous history you know if you're just starting out you don't want too much so just put it down there um, that's a lot I have to say to even that lowest is a lot um, network traffic is basically how much traffic you're just having onto your stream web automation this is again uh, I call it cloud DJ storage of where you upload your music so this will be again useful for 24 7 shows so if you think you want to have 100 gigabytes ouch that's a lot but you could uh, so just slide this to how much music you think you would have most of my clients go between uh, 3 and 10 so um, that's how much they usually get uh, for store just to be safe so you know that's not bad 2270 a month for this not bad at all that being said you have web automation you have streaming services you don't have these items you don't have DJ management and virtual studio which is a really important one so let's bounce over here to plus kind of compare compare to what we just looked at so as you can see we have the streaming thing again so pick that pick the web automation that's included again so let's just pick 10 for example okay as you can see um, virtual studio is um, it's included in this one we look at this one it wasn't included it's included in this one virtual studio um, is basically a virtual mixer I'll describe it it's like a mixer you can import jingles and stuff like that it's virtual and you have like a live button you can play jingles and stuff like that very good very amazing if I had some screenshots I would show you and in the future I'm sure I'll be doing some screenshots you have DJ management accessible now uh, you can have up to 100 DJs. This is basically to manage your DJs, and uh, there's a widget that the really cool widget that they have that'll display the upcoming shows and the current DJ and stuff like that. So as you can see, still pretty good price compared to the other ones we just looked at. 41.70 a month for all this. Let's jump up here to another pack here. Um, this is mainly just for streaming. I think I've gone the wrong way here, but that's okay. Um, streaming. Um, so this is mainly just streaming. This is a base pack again. This is your um, your 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 network traffic, how much traffic you have to your uh, stream. So if you only if you're only starting out, again just go low. So that's like 8.20 a month, which is really good. Um, of course, that's definitely really good prices. Uh, again, we went the wrong way, which is okay. But uh, anyway, so not too much included with this one. I would recommend this uh, just for live shows. Um, as you can see, there's no virtual studio, no web automation, so you don't have any cloud storage to upload anything. So you just have to have the equipment to do it let's go here uh, you can do a custom pack which is one of my favorite things so you can turn off elements that you don't need so if you say I don't need the DJ thing uh, I like this I need this that's obviously included um, if you want the virtual studio but you don't want the web automation you can kinda of flippy flop it but even this is a good price um, very good prices um, in my opinion compared to other this is probably my number two well this is probably my number one hosting that's paid um, just because of the features you get for the price I mean compared to other streams this is definitely my bang for the buck that I would recommend to any client coming to me and needing a stream host I would recommend them okay so we kinda went over radio jar here now let's go over some of its features um, they have some amazing features especially widgets I'm a big guy for widgets because um, I hate actually showing who you host with I'd rather have them go to my website and stay on the website when they listen and they provide you with all the tools you need to do that um, as you can see you can schedule and automate with flexibility I mean, this is again a good tool for those that want to stay and do the show 24 7 you have your automation your um, 24 7 again automation you can put jingle song kind of uh, how most stations would do if you wanted to you have your widgets um, gives you the best tools and easily integrate into your website and uh, you can even have a Facebook player is one another thing I like from uh, radio DJ another really cool feature again the DJ management um, you get DJs and shows so they can log into their own account and again it's also useful for their uh, handy dandy widget they offer for the current so uh, current DJ and the upcoming shows so let's go to virtual studio here 
you can uh, again broadcast from anywhere this is one of my favorite features I live here in Nova Scotia Canada I once went to the States and did a show and it was like well, how do you do that this is how it's called uh, virtual studio radio jar gives it to you which is a really cool feature compared to other ones even with these hosts uh, you know you don't really get that so much blog talk radio does but it, it's kind of limited so now let's go back here to radio jar let's continue going over this you get your media library um, you get all your songs into a library, very useful library. You can rename everything if you need to. But uh, you import all your songs, you kind of name them, just like that. You create your boxes for your jingles and songs, just that easy. Um, so basically, that's about it for a radio DJ. They give you a free trial, um, as you can see. You don't even need a credit card. Woohoo! Because we don't want to use a credit card when we try. So again, we looked at a pricing. Let's go to Radio Jar here to sign up. You obviously just click sign up. I have an account, and again, this is probably my number one uh, stream host that I would recommend to clients. And in fact, most of my clients use this. So you can sign up for a free trial, and again, uh, no credit card required. Boo doo. So even though we went over my favorite, there is one more we're going to get to here, and this is Centova Technologies. A lot of people prefer this. This is really strictly, I, in my opinion, for automation 24-7, the ones that like to do it that way. Um, let me just check here. We're still on. Okay, we're good. Anyway, this is um, mainly for those that want to do a 24-7 show. This is all cloud-based. You upload all your songs, and you put them into a way that it'll go, you know, jingle song, jingle song. Disadvantages to this, uh, I would say it's not really supportive. Um, it's supportive worldwide if you have the software. There's no, um, if you want to do a live show, there's no control panel or virtual studio on like the amazing radio jar. Um, th th those are just a couple of disadvantages. The other disadvantages are there isn't really, um, you can embed it in your site, but there's not a really easy way to embed it in your site. And uh, that's another disadvantage for me. This would probably, unfortunately, be my number, well, my lower end for sure, one of the lower ends that I would recommend, just because, you know, it's, uh, it's again, not very uh, not very user-friendly either uh, if you go in to use it. Uh, let's see if we can find some uh, products here, billing or whatever. Um, so basically, uh, I can't find, look at that, you can't even find uh, the, um, can't even find uh, the, um, can't even find the pricing information. Okay, so here we go. It's not overly expensive, so it's definitely worth it. But again, it's not ideal for those that want to do live shows. It's more for those that want to have a fully automated show, and it's just a lot of trouble when you go to, you know, when you go to, um, in my opinion, it's just a lot of trouble when you go and you um, want to do a live show. It's always trouble. Sometimes your encoder doesn't work and you have to try to take it over. It's just annoying. As you can see, you get a package for low $11, $11 a month. And uh, so that's fairly good. Um, disadvantages to this, no licensing coverage. Um, most of these other hosts offer this. About three out of four offer this, in fact. Very important. Um, so yeah, that's, that's, that's my... Um, four or five that I would recommend. My top one though, Mr. Radio Jar, would be my top one. I recommend going there and getting a free trial, of course on our website, ltexmedia.com, and look for the tutorials button. There'll be a link here to get your free tr free tutorial. And uh, yeah, I really recommend using this. This is a really, really great service. If you have support, you can contact them. They always help you. Uh, just to see a demo uh, of a uh, station here, um, I'm going to bring up a... I'm just going to do a search here. Um, let's see if we can do a search anywhere here. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Okay, let's go back to Radio Jack Home here. Okay, we're already there. So I guess we can't do a search, but uh, let's... Let's just do this. Radio jar. Okay. One of my favorite radio stations, Rock Mauritius Radio. So yeah, there it is. This is an example of a station that I listen to quite a bit. A uh, good friend of mine, Jim Haynes. Um, he's uh, part of Radio Jar. Has a great station. You won't be able to hear this, but this look at this. This is even, if you don't want to have a website that you have to embed on, look at this. This is just great. You just click listen. Brings up a nice little player here. Um, you can have a beautiful player, literally. Um, all the features you need, and um, it says your last songs, as I mentioned. Um, just beautiful. 
just beautiful. I, I again recommend Radio Jar, my number one choice. And if you ever uh, need help, they're there to help you. So uh, again, thanks for watching today's tutorial. My name is Adam Reed from Altex Media. You can find a link to Radio Jar on our tutorials page down below the player. And uh, yeah, get your free trial now.